Today we'll be taking a look at the steps needed to replace a rusted fender with a new aftermarket fender. The first step will be removing the old panel without damaging any trim or adjacent panels. Sometimes if you whack them a bit with an air hammer, that'll loosen them up. After transferring the hardware from the old fender to the new, we're ready to install it. When installing and adjusting a fender, there's three bolts you have to focus on. The one back there, this one furthest back here, the one up here, and the one down low at the bottom of the fender. This really is the most important one because it adjusts the gap between the door and the fender and the gap between the hood and the fender. Once you get that, then you can move this up, down, 
back and forth. You can use a shim, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I have one right there. You can go back and forth with this one or up and down to align it with the hood and the one on the lower fender you can adjust to get the door gap just right by pushing in or out, forward or backwards. Again, if you just install the bolt loosely here, up front, and the lower fender, you can adjust it from there. Starting back here, this is the most important because you have this gap and this gap. We did have some damage from shipping. We'll fix that a little bit later. Once you have this established, you can move to the front, tighten that one down, and really the last one, and it's always easy, the bottom of the fender. After you have those three bolts tightened, you can install the rest of the fasteners and finish up. We do have a couple spots we have to fix up before we paint it, but that'll be another day. I hope you enjoyed this video on removing and replacing a fender. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.